So next up, we have Shantou University Medical College for bachelor's in MBBS. So stay tuned for everybody who's looking to apply for MBBS program. This is your time to listen for Shantou University Medical College presentation to share about their MBBS programs in Shantou. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to join us today. I'm Alison Zhang from Shantou University Medical College. I'm in charge of international student admissions for medical and nursing program. Now I will give you a brief introduction of Shantou University here after we uh, referred to as SUMC, as well as our programs. Our history dates back to 1924. In that year, the school was founded, named Chaozhou Obstetrics Training School in 1959, with approval from the State Council. Uh, our school expanded and started offering programs in clinical medicine. Uh, and change our name to Central Medical Vocational School. Uh, Shantou University was established in 1981. Two years later, uh, we merged into the newly founded in university as its medical college and started offering the formal uh, bachelor's degree in clinical medicine. And our name, uh, and renamed to Shantou University Medical College. Uh, after a decade of development, now we offered comprehensive bachelor, master, doctorate, and postdoctorate programs in medicine. SUMC is a major college of Shantou University, a public university co-developed by the Ministry of Education, Guangdong Government, and the Li Kaxin Foundation. We receive long-term support from the foundation with cutting-edge facilities and an extensive network of cl clinical affiliations. We are committed to small class student-centered education and training of medical professionals that can meet international standards. Currently, we have nearly 4,000 students and 470 faculty members. About 68% of the faculty members hold doctorate degree, and nearly a half have international experience either by studying or working abroad. Uh, we have five affiliated hospitals with over 6,000 beds in Shantou and over 10 associated partner hospitals in Guangdong to serve the eastern and southern Guangdong, uh, as well as to place our medical and nursing students for clinical practice. Among our direct affiliations, uh, two of them are uh, comprehensive 3A level uh, hospitals, and the other three are specialty hospitals. For the international eye hospital, we uh, co-manage uh, co it with the Chinese University of Hong Kong. In 2016, we launched the new teaching facilities. Uh, it houses uh, a variety of uh, modernly equipped classrooms, PBL rooms, uh, uh, research labs and computing rooms, as well as other cutting facilities. Uh, like the Simulated Medical Center, Human Life Science Hall, to support our students for their active learning and lifelong learning. Our Simulated Medical Center, formerly called Clinical Skills Training Center, was established in 2002. It's the, it was the first of its kind in China. After an upgrade in 2016, it has become a state-of-the-art simulated, a clinical simulated and learning center that is designed exactly as an actual uh, modern hospital. It comprises of four series of clinic rooms and simulated facilities. It efficiently facilitates the acquisition of professional skills and competence required for the clinical practice. Uh, through the use of high-end simulators and virtual network technologies. In the Human Life Science Hall, uh, 
it's an interrupt uh, place for the discovery of human body. There are nine stations with over 600 unique human specimens that demonstrate the embryonic development and each organ system of the human body. It also features a, a modern uh, a anatomy visualization system called anatomy table for our anatomy courses. Uh, also, students are also offered uh, opportunities to do scientific research. So we have a new modernly equipped research building under construction. Uh, currently, we opened our undergraduate programs in clinical medicine and nursing to international students. Here you can see an overview of the programs offered. Uh, you can choose to study in English or Chinese. For more details, you can visit our website or email us at the links uh, at the bottom. We, ex we uh, offered quality education in clinical medicines. As I mentioned, our Bachelor of uh, Bachelor program in clinical medicine was launched in 1983. In 2007, we started the English stream medical class, which recruits uh, top domestic students and aims to produce medical professionals that can meet international standards. In 2009, we underwent an accreditation by the Ministry of Education and got a renewal in 2019. Since 2010, with approval from the Ministry of Education, we opened our undergraduate program in clinical medicine to international students. Since 2012, our program has been leased in the world's top 1% of Essential Science Index. We are also listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools. In uh, we as proof for our uh, for our quality education in medicine, we have received a, a number of national educational achievement rewards. In two thousand and nineteen. Our program has been listed in both the national and provincial plans to develop world-class undergraduate courses. Also, uh, the virtual case-based integrated training system for clinical thinking and clinical skills course has been recognized by the Ministry of Education as the national first-class course. So, uh, International students are welcome to join us. Uh, you will enjoy the same quality medical education as our domestic students. We look forward to your joining SUMC community. Thank you for listening. You, you can uh, uh, search for more details on our website or simply email us at the address. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Chang, also for the presentation. So there are a couple of questions from the students. I hope you don't mind uh, answering the questions from the students in regards to the MBBS program. So the first sure. question we had uh, from the Q&A here is a student from Kenya. So she was already studying MBBS and she was wondering if Shanto University accept transfer student for the MBBS or not. You mean uh, the student is already studying in a medical program in China? No, she is studying overseas. Uh, uh, sorry, because I, I she's, use... uh, she is studying overseas. So she studied um, MBBS at another country, but then she asked if she can transfer and then continue her study in uh, MBBS at Shantou University. The student will be offered the opportunity to transfer the basic science courses like uh, the physics, math, and chemistry in the first year. Mm -hmm. All the medical courses need to subject to further approval by, by our teacher affairs department. Mm 
Wonderful. So we, we, we need to further review mm -hmm. the student's application documents and his transcript. Okay, great. And then another question is that uh, because we check, we see that Shanto University have five years program and also the six years program. So can you share more about the differences between uh, the five year one and then the six years one? And then is there any tips for students so that they can apply successfully? Because as everybody know, MBBS is very popular. Students from everywhere wants to come to China and study MBBS. Yeah, sure. Uh, the major differences are the, dura the program duration and the basic academic requirements. Uh, so let's return the previous page. Mm -hmm. So the five-year program, uh, we require through the, the applicants ha uh, should have successfully completed the some basic science courses at the university level prior to joining SUMC or hold a higher degree, like the math, uh, physics, and chemistries at the university level. So, uh, and the six year program is open to the high school graduates. So we can see that, we can say that the six year program will have one more year for basic science courses compared to the five year program. So that's the only difference and there's no other difference in the curriculum. That, that's the major programs. And yeah. the other, the medical courses are the same. Mm -hmm. Great, understood. Right, and then uh, another question here from a student from India. So she, he or she is asking whether NEET, NEET result, NEET exam result uh, is needed or not for Indian students to apply for MBBS. Mm, it's not necessary for us, but students need to consider this by himself if he or she consider returning to India to practice mm -hmm. uh, medicine after graduation. Uh, as far as I know, it's necessary if he or she would plan to return to India. But, but for us, uh, it's okay if he or she does not have the need to result for the moment. Right. And then the next question uh, from Verandi. I know students are very excited about the MBBS program. There are tons okay. of exciting questions. That's uh, great. It's, yeah, it's about can we book and keep our seat reserved for next year's intake for the 2022 for medical university. So I think uh, she what she meant is that can she apply now and then starts the program in next year instead of this September? Oh, so ha has he or she already graduated from high school? I think it's uh, in this case, probably not yet. So it's better to yeah. apply for next year. Uh, if he or she are uh, in the high school second year, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think so because uh, there is no enough proof for his academic background. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, I do not encourage him or her to apply now. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, we, we actually, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because the transcript is quite important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, the last question is, what are the career opportunities in China for international students who graduated from, for MBBS and let's say uh, they, want, uh, they want to be a doctor in China? Is that possible? Sure, it's possible, but it's quite difficult. It's a very complicated process. Like other domestic students, they need mm -hmm. to pass the, medical, the national medical exams, the licensing exams, and which are conducted completely in Chinese language. So that is that would be a big challenge. And mm -hmm. the other one is for international students, after graduate, uh, graduation, they need to find a hospital for their residency. Mm -hmm. So that would be another challenge. This, <laughs> is if they, this is if they want to become a doctor in China, right? Yes, because mm -hmm. res three-year residency training is required for everyone who want to become a doctor. So uh, after graduation, they need to find a hospital by themselves for the residency training. Mm -hmm. it, 
it's possible to do in our hospitals, but they need to compete with other domestic students. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so competition is very high, but it is possible <laughs> if they want to become a doctor in China or anywhere else, maybe back home to their home country or other countries. Yeah, so it's just as difficult as other countries there. Uh, it's not so easy to become a doctor, but everyone mm -hmm. has an opportunity. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I think those are all the questions for today, Teacher Tang. Thank you so much for uh, the time and also for sharing the MBBS information for Shantou University Medical College. So application mm -hmm. is still open, guys. If you would like to apply for MBBS, uh, be sure to consider applying to Shantou University Medical College six years MBBS programs. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Oh. Okay, thank you, Nadia, for arranging yeah. all of this. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.